let us talk about this game because Queen of Two, check this. So I'm gonna have a bad game. I will say your biggest will go through in a moment, but well played. Um, let us reset this. Um, so while we're talking, by the way, over this game, we'll review another game after this because I'm glad we played this game because I feel like you did one thing that I definitely um, I teach a lesson on, and it's moving your F-bot. <laughs> it's a very dangerous game to play. So first off, E4, E5, basic opening, bishop E5. Um, I like putting a, a pin on this pawn, not letting black go for the center. Um, forces black to usually respond with knight C3 if they want to move their pawn. I go A6 because I just want to see how committed you are to your attack. Um, I want to know, are you going to stay here? Or are you going to retreat? Are you going to move back? I have no intention of doing this because I didn't want to break up my castle. But I wanted to know for sure, are you going to stay and be aggressive? Or are you going to retreat? Because that kind of would show me your tone for the game. I would know what kind of player you are based on this decision. You go bishop c4, um, showing me that you're willing to retreat from attacks that you don't want to involve yourself with. Um, so I go knight f6, just so I can push my pawn. So I can attack this bishop one more time. And to me, this is your uh, your big mistake. Um, not because it's a bad move, but because it's your f pawn. Um, and it exposes your king very openly, with little defense besides his g pawn. Um, especially that you put this pawn here too. For example, if you would have done this, at least you could then move your knight here to protect that square from the queen. Um, but the fact that you put the f-pawn on f3 stops the knight from coming out also, so your only defense from a queen attack is g3. Um, I'm very aware of this, and I plan on taking full advantage of it, so I push my pawn. Um, to see what do you want to do with your bishop if it's going to retreat more, um, you decided to put it to d3. And this is when I decide I'm just going to fully attack you, so I can move my knight. And again, expose your one weakness, which is again happening because of this f-pawn push. Part of me likes that we're attacking the queen. Um, part of me doesn't like that. I guess maybe we could spend this turn bringing out the knight to do the same thing, to attack the queen. But then the knight would also be out. Um, or even bringing out this knight in a defensive manner, just to put some coverage between your queen. Um, instead of just moving a pawn, um, different ways to bring out pieces that I would, I would have enjoyed. Um, maybe even offering a trade in this situation. Um, you're not down pieces. So getting this queen out of your way right now would be beneficial for you. Because now that means you don't have a queen invading your king area. Um, so yeah, d3 is not a bad move. Um, you do attack the queen, but again, you could attack the queen this manner. You could attack the queen this manner. Um, or you could defend the king. 